In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make your first Google Doc. Once, you're, once you've logged into your account, you're going to go up to the top and click on Documents. You'll be sent to a new page. Uh, when you create your documents, they'll be put in this area here. But we want to make our first document. So I'm going to go up to Create New, click once, and I'll get some new options. I'm going to click on Document. You'll be sent to a new section again. And I'm going to name this. So I'm going to click on Untitled Document and give my document a name. So in this case, I don't know, my first essay, let's say. I'm going to click on OK, press Enter. It's got a title, and I can just start typing away. As you can see, it kind of looks like any other word processor, uh, WordPerfect or Microsoft Word. You have different options at the top. I can change the text, I can make things bold, I can underline, highlight, add links, uh, change the alignment. And I'm just gonna give this a title, critical look at a Shakespeare masterpiece. Again, I can just highlight text, uh, make it bold. Uh, sure, I'm gonna make this bold here, just Shakespeare masterpiece. Go down here, put my name. I'm just gonna make the cover page for, I don't know, my first essay and my name for now is Owen B. And I'll put today's date. Uh, October 7th, 2011. Perfect. Again, there's different options here. You can insert different things. If you look, you've got the tabs there. I can insert different images. Or I can click on the pictures. I can change the formatting. I could insert tables, do a word count, do lots of different things. Same things you can do in other word processors. And this is the beauty of Google Docs right up here. I can share my documents with other people. So I'm going to click on share and look what comes up. Who has access? Well, this is private. Only the people below can access. I can access it for now. And I can add people. So this is great if I want to see, like, I don't know, my teacher, Jose Martinez. I want him to be able to see my essay. That way he knows that I'm working hard and making the best possible essay. And I have different options. I can send my teacher an email and I can give him different uh, privacy settings. I could either let him edit the whole document, just comment on it, or view it. And you'll get to know what those are after. For now, I want my teacher to be able to comment on my document. I don't want him to change it. So I want some suggestions from my teacher. I don't want him to change my essay, per se. Uh, and, and if I think I'm ready with my settings, I can click Share. Now my teacher has received an email and is now, when he opens his Google Docs, he can see what's happening. If you look at the top right there, it says one other viewer. That means that my teacher is now viewing my document, which is great. He's reading and he's making comments about my document. There, now I can tell that my teacher has said something about my essay. Hi there, Owen. Nice work on your cover page. Now start working on the essay. So. That's, again, the power of it, and I can comment back and forth with my teacher. I can insert a new comment here. Uh, thanks, Mr. Martinez. Um, and I can write whatever here. And it's all in real time, so the teacher, in this case, myself, Martinez, typed in that comment at 10.03, and I, the student, Owen as well, uh, I can comment back with my teacher. And it's not affecting my essay. I've only given the privileges of changing adding comments. I haven't given my teacher the ability to edit my document. However, if I wanted my teacher to edit my document, I could. And in my privacy settings, I could have let my teacher change my document. And it just stays there on the right-hand side. And this is just a powerful uh, part of Google Docs.